You are about to listen to Evangelist Isaac Omaling, the General Superintendent of World Commission International and the World Assembly Churches. Happy listening. <laughs> This is morning prayer, ladies and gentlemen. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, we are grateful that you have put the appetite for your word in our heart. It is not as if we have no choices to make. But you have made yourself a priority in our lives. And that is why we wake daily to seek you. The first muscle of the morning does not lack soup. Therefore, Lord, you are the first to be seen by us. We will not lack anything today as we go out. We pray in Jesus Christ's name. Breaking the cycle of evils. That's been what the Lord put in my heart to deal with the whole of this week into the weekend. That all the recurrent evils will be broken and it ceases to continue. I'm reading this morning from John chapter 4 where Jesus met a woman by the well of Samaria and asked her in verse 7 can you give me some water to drink and the woman declined on the basis of race that one is still here today it's an age long problem that that confronts the friendship of humanity it's very sad that Jesus asked water from a woman and the woman said how is it that you that is a Jew you are asking water from me that is a now this whole dichotomy must have started somewhere in obscurity the history of which we do not know but it continues to play out between the Samaritans and the Jews 
ti bere ni were were ni agbon kan ti ko fara won si gbogbo aye sugbon ti be si je yo laarin awon ara samaria atiju and the promoters did not know when to halt it awon olupo longo re ko si mo igba to ye ki won dekun re they be told that our me by nisin to the point that it has to do with water now that is how you see somebody food is heading somewhere you go and stop it and you don't take food down yeah no lo fa te ra won kan won gbo nje lo bi kan won si lo dabu re pe era e mo gbe lo be when will friendship return and at what point do we cease hostility because of the long term damage nitori pa lara igba pipe ti o ni we don't know exactly where and when this dichotomy between the Jews and Samaritans started. If if it was an error for those who started it, how about those who continue to spread it till this time? To ba tile wa je asise fun awon ti o tori re bere ki wa ni ka so nipa ti awon to si ran ina re si waju titi de korita yi the greatest sadness that i have with hijab crisis in kwara state on ti o ba mi ninu jeju lo lori oro hijab yi ni ipinle kwara is not who is right or who is wrong ko ni se pelu ta ni o wa lori eto tabi ta ni ko se lo that that is a very dangerous no matter what side you take you will have enemy on to le wu nla ni yen lati soro ba tori ibi ohun eto si e o lota mi o de ni soro ni be and i won mention that tori o ta te mi gan ni ti ka mi because i've had enough enemies for myself already sugbon to ndun mi ju but what pained me the most what are we planting into the heart of these children ni pe ki la n gbin si okan awon omode won yi these two have been sitting on the same seat in the same class se bi awon meji yi ori aga kan na ni won tin joko ni class kan na ti for years fun opolopo odun o mi egbon e graduate won tun mu aburu e wa and some of them the elder sibling graduated from that school and the younger one was enrolled into the same school what will these small children grow up to have as attitude between christian and muslim ke wa ni awon omo won yo dagba pelu re ti won wa ma fi huwa ni ojo waju laarin christian ati muslim that is the issue eyan gan ni koko that in in 100 years time you may be planting something that will be very difficult to uproot ni ogan ran odun si igba yi o le je pe won ten gbin sinu won ni isin yo wa soro jojo lati fati we are the two children who used to sit together in the same class en bi ti awon omo de meji ti won jo n joko ni class kan na bi o ya ra won there is an issue now that has become a problem e ti wa da oro nla le laarin won to wa so won do ta ra won we couldn't resolve it ti owo wa o si ka abati e tori awon ti mo so pe kini awon omo won yi ma wa dagba la se mo pe awon omo kan lo nso ko ni gburu bayi ni so that we could have for this reason because they be sitting together in the same class Considering the fact that what will these children now grow with? Now take a look at it. It's not these younger ones that are throwing stones because awon yen ti jonjo ko ni class kan na tele leave them they will never throw stone at teacher e fi won le te ba fi won le bon se wa won ni le ko mo ara won awa agbalagba e je awa ba se ma se ki fe ki o le wa muri ki se ni ran wa ni kan e e try lati gbe irugun ife fun ola we the elders the honors is on us to strive to promote love not only in our own generation but in many many years to come so that there will be harmony in reality in my visits to different nations ninu irajo mi lo si oni ru orilede israel became an independent nation in 1948 israel di orilede to ta to da duro ni ayara re ni odun 1948 and they have been fighting since then with their neighbors won si tin ja lati igba na titi disin pelu awon to mule ti won and the arab children have a view of israeli soldiers awon mo arabu yan mo le laruba wa won ni oye bi awon mo ogun israeli tiri because by experience they have always seen israeli soldiers coming to kill their father kill their mother bomb somewhere do bad to them tori ni pa iriri won ti ma awon ogun ile israeli ti won ju ado loro lu baba won ti won pa ya won ti won se won lo se and it came to a point that the israeli leadership decided to find a solution stop killing arabs o wa de kori ta kan ti awon adari ile israeli lati wa ona oju tu si oro yi ni gba ti won so pe edekun ati ma pa awon ara arabu and the, the pre- president of israel now said maybe what we can even do to foster understanding between the two nations let us introduce arabic in all israeli schools ni eni to je are 
Ori le de seli ni gba na wa wopo boya ka ti le se bayi e je ka da ilewe ede laruba kale ni gbogbo ilewe ile iseli so that we can understand each other ki a le ni oye ki a le gbo ara waye and all israeli children are compelled gbogbo awon mo iseli ni won ti wa kan pa fun and they put it in their curriculum learn how to speak arabic so si wa nu eto eko won eyin na eko ede laruba wa so that you know how to play with the other children on the other side be je ma ba won mo yoku sere lo ju how are we going to do to promote unity and love among the children ba wo la o se se lati le mu ki repo ati isokan ati ife ki o le wa la ran won mo wa won yi and then the israeli soldiers started a behavior at of presently nipa be ni awon mo gun le israeli wa be si wa kan like pe yi they go and stand at the gate of arab 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 schools o wa lo duro ni enu bode ilewe awon omo ile arabu ile laruba wa carrying biscuits won ko biscuit lowo carrying chewing gum ati chewing gum carrying sweets ati sweet and as they are coming out of their gates bi awon omo won tin jade lenu na ilewe won the israeli soldiers will be distributing it awon omo gun sale yo wa ma pin fun won and when we ask them nigba ta wa bi won le why are you doing this e se ti e fin se ru ele said we don't want this children to grow up with the history of 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 hostility that has been in our country won ni tori pe a o fe ki awon omo won yi ki won dagba pelu itan ati ranti kan gogo ati korira to ti wa pelu orilede wa we don't want them to grow when they see an israeli soldier passing by they will really cause a bad day because they came to kill our father a o fe ki won dagba de bi to je pe ti won ba ri omo ogun ile israeli kan won a be si pe won se pe pe to ran won na pa won baba wa the leaders and the elders have now decided to do things that will help these children to forget the pains of the past awon adari ati awon agbagba ile yi ti wa pinu lati se nkan ti o mu ki awon mo won yi ki won gbagbe ogbe ati irora ti ateyin wa and make them speak the same language ki won ti wa ma ba awon so ede kan na what can we do as christians ki lon ta le se gege bi christian like israelis did gege bi awon ara israeli ti se to bring the children together lati mu irepo wa la ran omo won yi what can we do as muslims ki la le se bi muslimi to bring unity and love among the children lati mu isokan ati ife wa la ran omo won yi so that they, are, they can fellowship they can they can work together they can play together ki won le ma ba ra won sire ki won le ma josin ki won le ma ni bare la ran ara won so that this one we are doing now throwing stones at children will not continue with our children ki ele ti an se yi ti an le ara wa lo failure to have discerned the the capacity of a feudal system to continue was what brought the samaritan woman to the point where i say i'm a, I'm a samaritan i can't give you what as a jew ikuna lati ni afojusun wahala ti eleya meya yo da kale lowo waju lati tete dekun re o na lo gbe oro yi titi de ikori ta ti obirin ara samaria to fin lati ma so fun jesus pe ara samaria ni mi won le fun lomi tori ju ni won se so jesus said well you don't know what you're talking about but i have water that i could give you jesus wa da lo npe o n to n so ko yi o emi gan ni omi ti mo le fun o and the woman said can you give me that water obirin wa da lo npe nje o le fun mi ni omi to n so ro bayi so i will not keep coming here to come and fetch ko mo ba je pe ma tun ma wa bi lati wa pon mi jesus had said in verse 13 whoever drink this water will thirst again jesus is the alone charge ni ezeketa la pe ni ken ni to ba mu ninu omi ri orun gbe yo si tun gbe for whoever drink out of the water that i shall give him shall never thirst sugbon ni ken ni to ba mu ninu omi te mi o fi fun orun gbe ki yo gbe mo lae but the water that i shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up unto eternal life sugbon mi te mi o fi fun yo di kan ga omi ninu re ti yo ma sun si ye ani pekun then the woman said give me this water that i will not be coming here to fetch Everything. that is i don't want a situation where i will be repeating my call to the well iyan ni pe won fe ipo to je pe ma tun ma wa bi le mo le mo lati tun wa ma pon mi what is creating a thirst and appetite that makes you keep running around running the same cycle oh yo wu to mu ipo ngbe tabi e bi kan ba o to mu ko mo sacrifice in song lolobiri po i pray in the name of jesus that the lord will help you to bring it to an end mo gba dura ni oruko jesus christ lo ni pe olorun yo ba ofi opin See you. See you tomorrow. Glory be to God. The word of God you have just heard was brought to you by the man of God, Evangelist Isaac Komale. 
the General Superintendent of World Commission International and the World Assembly Churches. I believe you have been greatly blessed by the message. God willing, the servant of God will continue tomorrow from where he stops. Same time on this station. For inquiries, prayer, and counseling, call 090-5888-7028. Again, 090-5888-7028. Or visit the World Assembly headquarters, Plot 95, Ajashekwo Road, Ofa Garage Area, Elorin, Kwara State, Nigeria. God bless you.